Right. Hello. I will let people get into the Discord. You get into the chat. to have been a going live notification on the Twitch, on the Discord, sorry. out to everyone. Give me a second. Okay, got a few people in here now. All right, so I'm going to be playing through the Halloween content in Empires of the Undergrowth today. I'm not, I'm not going to be developing anything, although I will note down any bugs or things that I think think might need changing as I'm going. But today, I think we're just going to have a bit of fun. I'm going to try and do the spider level doing the bite build rather than the venom uh, pool build. So we're going to get going. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. So how are we all doing today? So I'm just going to bring Discord up so I can actually read it as well. Hi Mike. going with the bite build so it's not the one that most people recommend but it should technically be possible I think it is slightly harder the thing about the bite build is you get more health because with the bite ability you uh, your health increases so it's bite is your main ability so you, every time you get a point put it in bite then Devourer is second, because Devourer is your survivability. Because you can't rely on avoiding damage, you have to rely on uh, being able to tank it and survive it. And then, other than that, you just get, you put points into... I think it's Venom Strike is third. Because you, slowing things is pointless anyway. So you may as well get the extra damage. It's 
Steam says Merry Christmas. Stream says Merry Christmas. It shouldn't do. Oh, I didn't press the update button. Damn it. This is, this is, there's a, a thing here that I changed the text in, but I didn't, um, I didn't press the update button. You notice there's a few dead creatures over in the ant areas, and the reason is that you can't eat the ants. So I put the creatures in there to give you an, the opportunity to have something to eat, even... Um... the other spider level but this is fine uh, I'm in I'm playing this in time for Halloween I'll play the other spider level when we get to Christmas that has been updated the the uh, the other spider level in the Christmas one is ready to go for Christmas but I haven't put the achie an achievement in for it yet I think I probably should because it's just as hard as this level. It is no easier. tomorrow on YouTube. Oh, very good. I have to see who does better. These headphones give quite good bass. I haven't had decent bass headphones for a while. These ones are alright. They're not actually new. They're, I, I, I bought them at the beginning of lockdown to do uh, music, to do my drumming um, on the internet. No, I haven't done much drumming, to be honest. But my other headphones broke recently, so I got these out, give them a go, and they, the bass is quite good.
problem with the uh, <coughs> wood ants is they don't group up as easily as the other stuff. So the bite build actually struggles a bit with them. Well, a little bit. It's skill M3 worth taking. Um, it depends which way you go. Um, if you go for a bite build like I've gone for, then no, not really, because to, to use bite, you've got to be right next to the enemy. If you go for a venom strike build, which focuses all your damage with venom strike, then yes. That works in conjunction with that well. It doesn't work in conjunction with bite well, to be honest. So there's two ways to build, although I'm wondering if it's possible to do it in, in this build, which is part of the reason why I'm giving it a go. Most people seem to be going for the other build, which is most points into this, then lots of points into this. some clean up in the center area and then I'm going to go back over to the um <clears throat> then I'm going to go over to the devil's coach horse area Devil's Coach Horse. <clears throat> yeah, it's the Hermit Crab, isn't it? Anyway, it's going to clean up. A few roaming enemies left. Shut up, Mike. We need more Liam making noise videos. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was very, very amusing, that one. where all my points that I've been putting into Devour come into play. So I should just be able to tank the damage. Just got to keep an eye on my health. How do you get up here? Some of them really do have a good wander radius. Right, um, the vision radius of hermit crabs, by the way, is terrible. So, uh, I need to try and. pick them off a bit.
Oh no. Uh. I want I want a clean slate when I fight him. Okay, so the fight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him I'll bring him to the corpses and I'll probably Move with him a bit. Easy peasy. Spider and spiders in this game. In general, I don't really mind them. No, I've got arachnophobia. All right, that's good to know. I guess. I guess they're not trying to be menacing in this game. They're just uh, trying to be spiders. You don't want to get caught by that. There's way too much damage. Doing well, doing well. Looks good. the uber left in this area. Say so always draw it out to food if you're playing this build. And you really don't want to get caught by its uh, spray. Oh no! Oh. Okay, we're good. It is actually less predictable when they're going to use that now. It used to be more predictable, but I added, added in a random chance for a lot of abilities in the game. So it's a lot harder to predict when they're going to be used. That said, I think these were actually slightly nerfed. I think. 
think the spider level was enemies were actually slightly nerfed. Right. Now this these should be quite dangerous, this next bit. I'm gonna just lure one out. See what we get with that. The stun is it on the little ones it's not so bad unless you, you pull too many of them. But on the big ones it's devastating. You can again you can actually avoid the stun. It's an AoE on the it's an AoE in the direction that they're facing at the time, so like, like there I go, I've, I've avoided it. There, avoided it again. I keep going blurry, because I'm playing in the dark. Avoid it? Oh. Actually, it's not too bad. Okay, that was hurting. Okay, I don't think I want more than one of these at a time, because more than one will lead to um, chain stuns. Chain stuns can have you dead in a minute in a very brief amount of time. got to the really hard enemies yet. I think the uh, the beach tiger beetle boss is the first hard boss, but this next area is actually quite hard because it's so easy to pull loads of them. The watery area. No, 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 come with me. Oops, one of you come with me. But I should just be able to tank you. Ah, none down that route. Okay. Oh. Come on, just one. That was dangerous. <laughs> ah, I can't move the stun. It's alright, there's no others near me. We're all good. Okay, that's two. That's, yeah, come with me. Oh, at least one. So Baron gave this a go the other day. Baron likes to cover Empires of the Undergrowth quite frequently. 
nice of him to give the Halloween stuff a try. He's done it before. He's played the spider level before, but... I know he likes the challenge. Well, he doesn't. He's, <laughs> he's not the best of players, but he, he does like our game. Streamers don't need to be the best players. They just have to be the most watchable. Okay, I'm going to come to chat for a minute, because I haven't been to chat for a while. Okay, so, I mean, Halloween and all that, I suppose, it's supposed to be creepy, right? That's predictable. Do you want people to beat this level? Well, <laughs> I'm still stuck on the medium spiders. The medium spiders are hard. What difficulty is this on? This doesn't have a difficulty. Uh, the hungry spider is just one difficulty setting. The first time I tried lowering the difficulty and it doesn't. I never played it, but I thought it at least had difficulty settings. No, it doesn't. It's um, notoriously hard, the, the spider level is. The Christmas one's hard as well. Right. Come here, Ruba. No, come here. Come here. That's it. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. Come on. Over to this big, big pile of food. Okay. Ah, oh, you got me with the stun. Pretty sure Points points for anyone who can tell me what that's a reference to. <laughs> the hard bit. Yes, the medium spider spiders are really hard. Uh, spider, spider, one that got away. Gotta get that XP, man. She probably isn't worth getting XP from. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, Look out for health bars. There's a health bar. There's a spider there. It's a tiny one. There's one behind me, actually. How did you get there? Right. were set to not wander around. Hmm. Right, I need to start putting points into Devour now, as far as I remember. Um... I don't think these should be moving around, you know. They should be set to not wander. There's a big one. 
great. But it gets tense around this part, doesn't it? big ones. Just don't forget to eat. Don't forget to eat! Ah! Oh, drums. The spider <laughs> gorged itself until the nearby creatures there were we too go. much to handle. Brought low by gluttony, its bloated corpse will now feed the very creatures it sought to consume. Too many of them. Ugh. Oh. So sad. Okay. Right, I'll give this mission one more shot. I'll, I'll go with the other build this time, and we'll see how much easier it is. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. I actually prefer running this build. It's uh, it's slightly more technical than the other one. That said, the other one you have to be really careful with the spiders. I think this one you can is a bit easier because you can control the spider's speed. I think this one's actually harder at the beginning and easier at the end. I don't need to put money points into Devour until, until later. I've got these out of sync at the minute.
Right. This way first. Okay, come to chat. I just can't do this level any more than once a day. Too stressful. Yeah. Rip the hun hungry spooder. Hopefully you can eat. You can, you can, all, you can eat all you can in, in spooder heaven. I mean, because all the, all spooders go to heaven because my arachnophobia said so. <laughs> Remember, I've only got one point in Devour, so it doesn't actually do anything. But it barely does anything. Look, numb. Tiny bit of health. At the beginning, um, these can't overlap. I mean, what I mean, they don't last the same amount of time. But as time goes on, I believe the slow lasts longer. So eventually, you can just keep things slowed um, permanently. If you keep putting points into things. Oh, and the slow also increases venom damage, so it actually works in conjunction with that. Bonus points if I play to you while you, well, you play it. <laughs> play whilst you play. Playception. Uh, yeah? Points are free, right? <laughs> On this occasion, points do not make prizes. to start putting points in. Now, you, I, I don't think I need to put points into Vara until later. It's more for the spider bit in, in emergency cases. See, the AoE now is like the, the Venom Strike is causing huge damage by this point. It's also getting bigger.
It's worth noting that wood ants, the, the, the ranged ones, actually have really low health anyway, so I can probably, single bite will probably do them anyway. Are you a hungry spooder too? I'm a hungry spooder. We need to start slowing now. At this point I've got away we just using it and running but that one first. Very yeah, we know. We're working on it. I forgot I can use WSA and D, can't I? <laughs> Some people prefer I think I just prefer to use the mouse. I guess I'm used to Diablo. That's my game, ah. Who's a hungry spooder? I'm a hungry spooder. Right. Hermit <coughs> crabs. This is what they used to call me. They didn't. No one ever called me hermit crabs.
How do you get all the way down here? Cheeky. early for you to be honest mate. Right. I might not be a spooder, but I'm always for sure hungry. <laughs> patch of green that you don't need to chill out in. Okay. <clears throat> Next lot. mind taking on the uber now as long as um, he's on his own I don't mind dealing with the others later just be able to tank most of his damage. Is he going to get another heal off?
Nom 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 nom. Alright. Now things start to get interesting. I think the beach tiger beetles are actually harder with this build. Because you've got less health if something goes wrong. And that's the main advantage of the uh, other build is you've got more health. Technically, taking on multiple of these with this build should be just the same as taking on one. Looks like it's got fairly high movement, res uh, slow resist. Ah, oh. <laughs> must have caught me in the in like a glancing blow. When I first made that, if you got hit by that once, you died. I definitely nerfed that at some point. Come on. Come on, back into the green goo. You know you'll like it. You know you love it. Let's roll. Wrong. Whew. 
Like I say, this build is definitely more, definitely harder in the early levels. Still haven't got to a thousand health yet. Okay, what you can do is like set up a trap. So you can set up two, two pools. Come on. Ah, oh, well that didn't work. Okay, that's a double pool. But he's on a double pool at the minute. You come to die. Excellent. Right, next. Ah, oh. so it gets dangerous. Two pools, damage doubles, or is it the same? It's, it it d double damage. So if you if you have two overlapping pools, it's twice the damage. Although they don't overlap for long. So I will often preset up a you know, a double pool for the fight. That went wrong. Um. I'll often stand somewhere. So uh, it lasts nine seconds and it's got a six second cooldown. So there's a, there's a three second period where it'll do double damage. Then it should. It's not the only thing that boosts the damage though. There's other things. Two of them. Okay, good, good. Okay, well, it's just the urban area. I think he's left me. 
Uh, straight away, let me stub me. Great. Good work. I think the, spi the big spider is actually more susceptible to slow than most enemies. Right. I'm going to start putting a few points into uh, Devour now because I need to I need to be able to recover quickly if something goes wrong in the f spider bit. Because something will go wrong in the spider bit. And I will just die, and this run will be over. <laughs> See how uh, optimistic I am about my chances. In the in the spider bit, basically, you can't afford to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you die. You're dead before you, um, you even, you even realise you've made a mistake. But you can take your time with it. There's no need to rush this section. By this point, my um, venom's, venom thing's massive. Where's that a ref what's that reference to? another reference. Lots of references in this level. Right, I'm going to be putting more points into the slow because I think it, the slow needs to be more effective. It might be too late to do that. The medium spiders have that poison attack. Too, 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 too many. I wasn't set up for that attack, so I wasn't going to have it. If you lose line of sight with something, it leaves you alone, so... It's just hard to lose line of sight at this point in the game. Oh, that's two. Two is too many.
that's a big one. Control the speed, you can control the game. Control the speed, control the game. How the hell has that ant survived in here? The speed, control the speed, control the speed, control the game. Control the speed, control the speed, control the speed. Ice skating spiders, everyone loves ice skating spiders. Blurry to me. Really blurry. I think there must be two on top of each other in the same like pretty much in the same location. But it's three big ones. Let's pull one out. Control the speed. Why is there two? <laughs> Why did <it> two arrive? <sighs> None of them are coming anywhere near me for ages, and then two just arrive at exactly the same time. Control the speed, control the speed, control the speed, control the speed. I will arrive back in chat after I finish this, because at the minute this is too stressful. Speed. Arrived. Oh no, there's one more. <laughs> Don't forget that cheeky one. Oh, it's a tiny one. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's all about controlling the speed. This whole fight is about controlling speed. Ugh. Not meant to be moving. None of these are meant to be moving. Something must have gone wrong. Like I say it's very susceptible to slow. That's why I was putting 
lots of points in slow towards the end because if it reaches me I'm dead. mistake. Was that a mistake? Might have been. Just get, refresh the slope. Okay, I've been hit. No! No! Oh! <laughs> The spider gorged itself until the nearby creatures were too much to handle. Broad low by <laughs> gluttony, its bloated corpse will now feed the very creatures it sought to consume. I was trying to get to some food and it was just like, this isn't enough time, there's food the other side of him, don't go towards him, and I went towards him. Um, Bite, you need to you need a massive food reserve. You like you bite, bite, eat, bite, bite, eat, bite, bite, eat. That's how you do the bite build. I have one with both of these builds before. But anyway. That was almost how you do it. <laughs> right. Let's have a quick bash at exca excavators as well. I'm going to play on hard because I don't stand a chance on insane. Design this level around hard mode. So that's what it's how I design levels. I basically build them so I can just about beat them, and that's hard mode. If, if there's two piles of venom on top of each other for a brief period, that will stack, so that is double damage for a brief period. It's not very long though. I think by the end there I was getting a three second overlap between the two pools. remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. The battle has begun.
to remember how I was organising my groups before. Okay, so I think you will like were in group three and you were essentially my tunneling group. I then had a gather group there and a damage group there. I think that's how I did it. starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Yeah, I might muck this up a little bit. Gather group, go gather. Uh, it's only other resources. Yeah, there's a few resources that I just didn't get. Ah, I see what's happened. <laughs> this one up. Okay, that's enough tunneling. Deal with the eggs first. Eggs, eggs, eggs. must defend themselves. Uh, this isn't going to go well, especially as I've turned combat off. Why was combat off? <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll explain my, my reasoning behind the quantity of workers I've built. Um, it's because there's a lot of food on this map, and I don't really want to waste soldiers gathering it. So I've got a gathering group, which are cheap 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 ants so I've, I've messed I've messed this up anyway because I've messed up the um
The battle has begun. How are we doing? I have to remember, I won't be the best player when boasting the growth. I made it, that does not make me the best player. It got. The ants yeah, nice. will fight to the death. All right, at the minute. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. You still up here. There. These guys are my over. Here. have done all they can to improve these food stores. Right, there it goes. I think that mess up early is just having a cascading effect. Go gather, 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 gather food. 
think this is the, our next attack location. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. will fight to the death. ridiculous amount of food there so I don't need to worry about that. I'll do with a few more workers to be honest. To be honest, I'm not really gathering food at a rate I'd like to, I keep running out of it. Right, you guys quickly gather some food. Give me a boost. Hopefully it'll be enough. The battle has begun. Okay, we're going to need to re um, regroup. There. Have we got some level 3 wood ants yet? No, I just got some level 2s. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Regroup, regroup. Still got lots of food, so no need to panic yet. Very close to panicking. There's a lot of enemies. have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Run the fight going on here. Okay, we're good. We're all good here. Level three. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Right, 
Fight, 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 fight. There's a fight going on. Go on, get your fisticuffs in there. For it, we're chasing that one essentially before it gets too late. Oh, food stores are full again. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Right, it's time we start to think about some bigger ants. Battle has begun. Not the battle. Working my way up the sizes. gather some food before we uh, tunnel through because this I think could be painful. Oh, there's still loads of food over here. I wouldn't say loads actually. I'd say there's loads of food over here though. So that's my squad over there. Medea can go over the wood ants and the black ants, so they're, they're useful for getting to the front. They've also got extra piercing damage, so they're better than you might think. So they ignore resistances to an extent. Okay, I want I want massive gathering going on. because we need to make a move. Okay. Here goes the big dig. Right. Whilst we're getting on this, I'm going to bring my army over there. The ants must fight. Food still to full again. Oh, damn it. Okay, spend, spend, spend. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. to upgrade anything else. Um, you know what, you can probably
probably grab some food. Let's do it quickly. Oh, I forgot a tiny bit of food there. The ants will fight to the death. Not the ants. Anything but the ants. about this one because this one's been going for a long time. about my massive group of workers. That one's going to be so ter terrifying when it comes out. Need army ants. The ants must defend themselves. I wonder why I was meant to do this first. I might have been. Basically, I'm just going to have to deal with this in one big go. I need you up here whilst, whilst we're doing this.
the ants must fight. I'll be off to deal with this. If not, I'm in trouble. Oh, army ants to the rescue. Yes. Right. Get in there. Any worker. Sorry, workers, I need you up, up, up at the front. Oh, it's about to tunnel in itself anyway. I was a worker here now. The ants must fight. will fight to the death. Uh, right, meet in the base. Meet in the base because this is just going to trickle all the way down to us. stand here I guess This is going to be painful. This is going to be really painful. Here we go. 
breach, breach. Just get those eggs out. Get those eggs out now. The colony is starving. There's not enough food. There goes all my food. food. Yeah, this is not going to happen. <laughs> I did something in the wrong order. It must have been these. The queen is in imminent danger. Rip in peace. <laughs> well. On that terrible disappointment. I think uh, I think that's all the defeat I can deal with for one day. <laughs> I think what happened was I was meant to deal with those much sooner. So I, I got I get the feeling I was meant to do those before the long one. And the long one obviously took way too long because I was, um, uh, because I, I, I kept losing my workers. I should have had more workers up, up at the front, just kind of a, a group of workers in reserve ready to dig the next tunnel. But there's a couple of mistakes I made there that I could have, uh, oops. That I could have done something better. Um, anyway. <laughs> should, have, should have put just food there. <laughs> yeah. Right, so yeah, I think that's that's that for today. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, hang on, uh, before I go, I will I will have a chat about uh, what's going on in general. Okay, so some of you will know that we um, that we released on Epic uh, on the Epic Store as well. So that's an extra store for people to buy from if they wish. Uh, and yeah, the chaps from Epic helped us do that. So yeah, that was uh, that was very good. Uh, so that was, uh, and obviously we've released this this patch to the public. We are fixing bugs with it at the minute because there are a few bugs that have um, that have come in. If I have a quick look at the source control, I'll, I'll tell you what's happened since we released the patch. Uh, it's pretty much just bug fixing. Although Matt is also making the biggest creature the game will have ever <laughs> at the moment. So Matt's busy working on that as well as everything else going on. Okay, so we've got a few fixes. So the eight the eight food that's buried in excavator that's not quite buried in excavators has been fixed. 
Uh, leaf cutter randomized cabins now produce leaves that don't put poke through the floor in free play. Because if you turn randomized cabins on with leaf cutters in free play, currently it uh, it produces leaves and the leaves just poke through the black. It kind of destroys the illusion of the black being darkness. Uh, I've changed basin a little bit so the ba the barrier between the nests, um, if you're not allied, is no longer destructible at all. So you can't break through to attack the other side of that. Uh, but the other destructible barriers at the top and the bottom of the map, they are now uh, they no look like wood. So basically, a rock barrier is indestructible, uh, and a wooden one is destructible. If you're allied, uh, it, it destroys itself anyway. The thing between the nests. Uh, fix an issue where placing a marker on an enemy nest if your ants were inside another enemy's nest would cause the ants not to react so basically now if you're attacking an enemy and your ants are in their nest and you place it on a different enemy's nest they will now leave the enemy's nest that they're in whereas before they just stayed uh, and there's a fix for a, a refund bug where you could there was like literally a frame that you could uh, refund a tile and it would uh, whilst upgrading and it would do the upgrade and give you the cash uh, however there's been a fix put in for that so yeah thanks very much for joining me on the stream um, I hope you all have a great Halloween I believe Mike is going to be back he's going to be about tomorrow streaming on YouTube uh, and he's going to be playing himself some of the uh, some of the the spider level Mike says yes so so yeah if you if you're hungry for more hungry spider uh to see another member of the team playing uh playing on on on, on the Halloween level then that that will be tomorrow yeah unfortunately the stream is about to end so but yeah thanks very much for joining me i hope you hope you all have a great halloween um and of course, everyone stay safe. And I will see you. I will see you in the Discord. And uh, also, just next time. Uh, should should be back next week. Uh, not sure what I'll be doing yet. Possibly just more bug fixing. Depends on how far we got with it. But yeah. Thanks very much. And see you next time. <laughs>